I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a response to Army Veteran 101st. I understand where you're coming from, man. I, to a scary extent. I've got friends who are hunters and friends who own guns. And here in Victoria, that's a much, much rarer thing. And these people are responsible. They are careful. And they keep to the laws and regulations. In fact, you keep them in a safe around here, and you get them regularly inspected to make sure they're in good nick. Safe included. So, what I've found... Excuse me. What I've found is that the problem is not one of ownership. It is a question of capacity. One thing I don't like about... I used to love it when I was a kid because I didn't understand it from this angle. Benefit of age, I suppose. Was the philosophy of Spider-Man. With great power comes great responsibility. Well, people live by those words and die by them in some cases. No. Human society... I mean, human beings don't live in a vacuum. By and large, with the exception of some loners, we cannot live in a vacuum. We need other people. And when we become powerful in a society, it is because our society has res removed the restrictions from us accessing resources and utilising them to their full. The problem is, Western society has a bad, bad habit, very bad, of not of allocating resources based on mutual trade of resources, not on personal responsibility to handle those responses soundly, ethically, and responsibly. In many societies, they had it the right way around. The resources belonged to the community, and the community would happily, happily allocate you the resources if they believed that you could show you were responsible with them. There have been whole ranks and uh, classes and positions uh, edited out of Western society because, I don't know, I don't know, uh, if I was in my conspiracy theory mode, I might say it's deliberate. What I'll tell you is this, there used to be people in a tribe who would test you, and before we had the Industrial Revolution, uh, schooling wasn't about just mechanistically believing that by a certain age you will have reached, you know, so much maturity and so many responsibilities will be granted you and you will have the capacity to do the following things. No. You got given a test and the village elder or the wise man or whatever he was, or she, in a lot of cases if you're really lucky, would allocate you these tests. And they wouldn't be that forgiving. However, they'd know your frame of reference, and they'd damn well know uh, that you knew what they were talking about. And if you could not show responsibility, no matter how, or figure out what they were really driving at with these tests, they would not allocate you the resources. You know, they'd say, I want to go hunting with the other kids. Okay. What is wrong with this picture? Oh, you keep asking me this question. It doesn't make any sense. Well, when it makes sense, I'll let you go hunting. It was an IQ test, it was uh, a visual acuity test, it was a lot of things. And that was, and that's something that's been stripped out of a Western society. It, to be a little bit paranoid, I'd almost say it's because uh, it allows p gross, it allows us to punish everyone else for the misdeeds of one or two, especially when you can set up a f uh, false flag scenario where someone deliberately does something bad. And it also lets uh, the people who should not have power get power, because those people would have rooted them out ages ago. So yeah, I don't believe it's about give everybody access to this or not. I believe it's about morality, I believe it's about character, I believe it's about responsibility, and I believe it's not about, I believe it's about keeping irresponsible, immoral, uh, poor characters from getting access the technology and resources that will that in their hands would lead to acts commensurate with their nature which would be to the detriment of everybody in that society as a society we must control our resources as a society it must be based on character
first and foremost. Technical capacity to, to understand is good. Uh, physical capacity to use, also good. Yet they pale in comparison to your character. Unfortunately, there's no character test for owning a gun. So yeah, a waiting period's not a bad idea, a background check is not a bad idea. However, I believe we need to be a little bit more stringent and possibly with an increase in gradient of stringency relating to the increasing grade of how easy it would be to abuse a certain of power. And if you have, and if you, psychotropic medication has come into your life in a heavy way, then yeah, maybe it's not the best time for you to have preloaded, not just boxes of shells. I get that if you're having a special on ammunition. If you have preloaded magazines and two or three rifles, maybe a couple of handguns too, maybe it's not the best time for you to want all that when psychotropic medication and a few other things or a, or a grievance that you can't work out through therapy has come into your life. I'm Ozzy Griffin. Think about your character and why you're different from all the people you despise or you have who you believe have ruined it for everyone else. Thank you.